Hi, I'm Luka Reykjavich. I'm with LJ and J. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Where should we start? So I think all my movie making all started when I was well. When I was really young, we've got some old family footage of like my mom would be videotaping the animals like our German Shepherd and beagles and every time I saw that a camera was on I would I would want to jump in front of it you know there was something inside of me where I just felt like I had to be in the spotlight even though I was a real shy and quiet kid most of the time but my first actual movie making experience was when I would watch Power Rangers on TV and be like god oh, this show sucks but I could just go out my backyard and make something a lot like it so I didn't have many friends at the time because I had just moved to Indianapolis and so I said, Mama, videotape me. And she's like, oh, I'm busy. And I'm like, Mama, videotape me. And then she's like, okay. And then she videotaped me and I was just jumping around and I added some music over it with a tape recorder being held up to it. That's when Jason came in. He was walking by and I was like, hey, hey, nerd, maybe you can help me videotape this thing since my mom's not cooperating very well. And then he's like, yeah, I've got a lot of movie making experience, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't care about that. Let's just make this damn movie. <laughs> I was so mean to him back then. Man, some fries would be real good right now. Uh, after, after making our first movie, me and Jason realized we could utilize our time better than most other kids by making tons of movies. Every time we got an idea, we'd make a movie about it, and then our other friends like Adam Sheets Eaton and other kids around the neighborhood, Andy Casper, would join in and make a couple of movies, which they were never really what I consider movies back then, but they were just pretty much skits, kind of like Saturday Night Live or something. But pretty much we were just a bunch of kids with a lot of energy. We didn't watch much TV, so all we did was made movies with each other about this and that, about whatever we had just watched that day. Like if we just watched Jurassic Park, we would make a Jurassic Park parody. If we had just watched Cops on TV, we would make a Cops parody. And uh, from then, uh, we just built up until one day we got into high school. Then when we got into high school, things were all kind of different at that time. Well, when we got into middle school, it was new territory and a uh, very unstable time for me and Jason. A lot of, you know, social acceptance issues we had to go through. By the time we got to high school we seemed a, a more level-headed and we definitely realized by making movies it wasn't just a, a pastime and a hobby, it was more so a goal we could develop within ourselves and then just constantly have that as our outlet to be creative and kind of set apart from everyone else because I don't know about everybody else but I definitely always felt that I should be set apart from the group because being a follower was never something I wanted to do. But being in high school then opened my eyes to that our movies could actually have an audience, that it wasn't just me and Jason and, and our some friends who would make the other movies uh, that needed to be the audience. We could actually have an audience which would be our classroom because we would say, okay, here's a book report we should be writing, but instead of writing a book report, let's just make a movie about it, show this to the class, get the audience participation and totally like stun them with how innovative and like pretty much ahead of their time our movies were and then that way we would start getting an audience recognition and therefore that seemed to make our movies and what we were doing seem more like a promise, promising uh, goal for the future that we could start making money doing it one day.